Lord! Oh! Oh! God, that face! That's the best portrait. Welcome one and all, Navigator EX here, and I have a feeling that these portraits are, like, randomly generated. I know, I, I know there's another guy that I grabbed in my downtime. I want to say had that same mouth. I don't know if they're, like, cobbled together from bits and pieces or whatever. Let me see if he's in the waiting room. That might be where... Let's see, that looks like it. Uh, C Perch. Where you at? Very similar. Maybe not identical, but very similar. I don't know. <sighs> this is the face of my best non-named repairman. Do you really want a guy like this fixing your equipment? Because he looks like... He looks like he's going to make it the most intense repair you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, boy. Great stuff. I love this. Welcome, No Third Impact, please. It's going well here. It's going very well. It's probably going great for Cabbage White, too. He, he's, he looks intense, but I, I really get the idea that he's a... I get the idea he's actually a big softy and not one of Doom Guy's antagonists. Ah... Uh, I'm looking through this roster and I happen to notice the best shooty man happens to be COD. I'm like, really? The COD guy is, is the best? It, I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> you just know off screen he's also holding a bottle of Mountain Dew Code Red. Ah. Uh, damn it, I love this game. Ah. Uh, but welcome, No Third Impact, please. Welcome, welcome. Here's hoping it's going well on your end as well ah uh, let's see i don't have my new glasses on account of the doctor's office the uh optometrist canceled the appointment but i do have where is it at the oh it's finished developing uh uh where'd it go all right the soliton more fun with emulation shit i need to get on that yuzu business ah uh, sink a little bit of time into Breath of the Wild. I need to sink way more time into uh, Code Veronica X, but you know, I kind of stopped on Breath of the Wild myself. I need to see how that handles in, in the emulated form. Ah. Fun with emulation and putting those, those new PC parts to great use. Like, what was it, 96 gigs of RAM. I'm, I'm still hung up on that, I have to admit. <laughs> ah. All right, done trying to acquire Switch games. Okay, two days to download. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, boy. Let's see. So where were we last week? Zadornov Mission 5. Hadn't unlocked that. Unlocked that uh, in the past day. I can't remember if it was last night or this morning. Oh, God, I hate unlocking these. <laughs> I don't know why. I kind of... It, it seems unnecessary to have five missions searching for this douche. But hey, here he is. And it's the second to last one. Ram was pretty cheap, so why not? I... Honestly, after so many years of PC components being jacked up in price, thanks cryptocurrency and now the AI boom, I can't help but agree. You know, cheap RAM, hell yeah. One always touted as one of the cheapest PC upgrades you can get. Ugh. And now that you have processors that can perform better with uh, better cooling, I think cooling's probably in second place, but you know, that could just be me talking out of my ass. Uh, but cooling to be right behind RAM, that's kind of great. Free PC upgrades just by cooling your shit down and slapping more RAM. Uh, I wish I could remember what that ad was from when I was a kid. A whole bunch of executives sitting around a table not knowing what the hell they were talking about with computers. And there's the one guy who's like, RAM. I like the sound of that. Let's RAM everything. Ah, uh, boy. Sad thing is he's kind of right. Snake, Zadornov's escaped custody again. You have to track him down. I... I mean, but do I really, though? 
Noctua is teasing some designs for the successor, the NHD15. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to. Oh, boy. It's like I don't need to build a new computer yet, but I'm kind of getting the itch to maybe grab, like, I don't know, one or two upgrades for my, my existing desktop. It could it could use a new processor. That would uh, be, be great to have a new CPU for it. Oh boy, and new fans would be would be good too. No ETA, but they want to get it out this year. Yes, nice. In time for Black Friday? In time for Christmas? Okay, let's see. I want to kick this Zadoranov guy in the taint. Let's see. So we've got the Mark 22 1911 but slightly slightly quieter. Wait, no. No, it was the Mark 22 that I got more. Oh, oh gosh, silencer, I think. Uh, silencer upgrade developing for it. Uh, 1911. Oh, it doesn't have a silencer, does it? Oh, there we go. Whoops. There we go. M60 for if things go pear shaped. Ration. Assassin box. Let's, uh. Let's rearrange these real quick. Uh, Soliton. I'm gonna put the Soliton up at the top. Over the cerned end. Oh, man. I need to look up some uh, parts as well. Noctua. I've never bought anything by them, but, you know, I've, I've always eyed them. I, I remember mentioning brown being their color of choice for, for something. Uh, for some reason, they, they did a lot of that. And now they do other colors, so I'm like, that works. Uh, let's see. That was Ration... And tortilla chips. Now, thankfully, most of the components I think that they would do are components that I wouldn't likely see a whole lot, so it honestly doesn't matter what color they are for aesthetics. And for performance, obviously, it doesn't matter at all. Ugh. It's like it feels like a, a shitty thing when a company has to label the the components performance by color. I don't I don't know. Something about that just doesn't sit right with me. I'm thinking of Western Digital here with their blue and black and green hard drives. I'm like, I mean, just call them what they are. The performance hard drive, the business hard drive, and the, the eco hard drive. I don't know. Just, just give them names that say what they are. Get your marketing jabronis together and come up with, with ways to make that sound cool, and we're golden. Let's see. More games on our PCS3. Africa. Not uh, familiar with that one. Yakuza. Okay. Longest Day. I'm vaguely familiar with that one. Never played it. No more heroes. Binary Domain. Nice. I've got that on Steam. I've had it on Steam for years and haven't played it, and it, I played a demo of it forever ago, and it was so cool. And I haven't touched it since playing that demo on the 360. <laughs> ah! Oh, we got Genji Days of the Blade for a 60 frames per second patch. Oh. Damn. But for a different version. I don't know. Fingers crossed someone will get a bug up their butt to convert that. More frames for everyone. Ah. Find the doorknob snake. Okay. Oh. Uh and since I've been playing Breath of the Wild, I've honestly kind of derped out on the controls. Oh, no, no, no. What is with this guy's helmet? Okay. Uh-oh. He didn't feel that at all. Okay. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I've got to use the Africa as a nature and photography sim. Okay. Go to sleep, other guy. I know I shot you in the arm. Just 
Just sit down. That's all you need to do. Alright, uh, Fulton, get these guys out of here real quick. Eh. I'm particularly interested in Tokyo Jungle. I saw it being played one time and thought, what is this? This is zany and uh, do want. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Okay, switch to the assassin box quickly. Alright. Renko Tsukihime's. Suki, oh, Sukigime, oh. Wait. Eh. Okay, Suda51, though. Okay. Suda51, Suda. Okay. Took me a second. I've got other devs stuck in my head. I should uh, remember a little more easily who Suda is. Whoop. Inside the box. What's in the box? It was pain. Okay. Find more dudes. Ah, uh, Tokyo Jungle. It looked like it was having a bit of performance uh, issues on the stream I was watching. I think uh, Team Four Star, again, I haven't watched their content in forever. I really need to go back to those guys. They were always fun. Let's see. 2D action running game, though. Girl wants to kill her father because he's evil and she has a beam violin. Why is Why does that sound so so fun? That sounds too fun. Oh shit, this guy, uh? Uh oh. No! Nobody's there! I probably should have... Okay, he's like right there. Get in the box! Get in the box! Okay, quickly, Fulton. This guy? I'm burning through these a little fast. Just gotta make sure I save the one, though. It's fine. Okay. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Alright. Doors, real quick. Oh. Yeah, but like I said, I've had... Uh, no one here other developers stuck in my head for a little bit because Yuji Naka is going away for a bit. Not this one. That would be really bad if Zadornov were in that same one. What the hell? Ah, the Solitons out. Yes, yeah, so Yuji Naka going away two and a half years. Mama. And it's totally not because of how bad Balan Wonderworld was received. Don't know if it was actually bad, just it, it did not get high marks at all. <gasps> okay, oh, hello. Uh, I kind of hate to do this. I hate to leave this guy, but I need the Fultons for combat reasons. Oh, Yuji Naka, he's stepping away from game development for a while because prison. <laughs> Unless they give him a dev kit in the, in the joint. Insider trading. They found him guilty on that one. Uh, I remember reading that story as it was originally unfolding. It's like, that That kind of sucks. It's like that, guy. Don't, don't dick around with that stock shit with the people who are working with the company you're working with. Who's there? Hey. Oh, boy. Uh, don't worry, guys. Snake isn't the only one who has to be naked. Oh, boy. Yuji Naka. That sucks. I mean, m more for him than anyone. Two and a half years, though. Damn. It's like you'd think KG and Afuni would have gotten that for releasing Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I want to talk shit, but I have apparently got Mighty Number no. 9 on like two, three different platforms now, so. Uh, Humble Bundles, and I think PS Plus in one instance. Uh, okay. Assassin Box. Get over here, you. 
How many bullets are you going to take? How many bullets does it take to get the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Guard? What's that? The enemy's attacking! Going to alert status! Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Uh-oh. Damn it! Why do, you ha why do you have to be like that? Whoop! You go away. I might have to get the most in the gaunt on you fools. Ah, uh, fast enough to... Oh, boy. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. Oh, man. Three shots to take this one guy out. Okay. Uh, Soliton. Oh. Are they gone? Is there no one left on this? Or does it go by floor? Okay. Oh, it does, it does separate out by floor. Okay, okay, that's probably not the best. Let's see. Oh, that, that was not... CQC snake do it do that thing oh, boy that could have gone way worse uh meanwhile Yuji Naka is going to the joint and Koji and Kojima is not going to Konami so apparently he's it's it has been confirmed he is not a part of MGS Delta. In other news, water is wet and the sky is blue. <laughs> Did anyone expect him to be involved in that? I have to admit, that would have actually been more surprising. But uh, the news on that is still trickling in. So I want to keep an eye on that one. Metal Gear Solid Delta. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you mentioned the reuse of dialogue. Um, they have straight up said, uh, I believe it was, a uh, Tommy Williams, the head of communications, spoke to The Verge and explicitly stated they will be reusing, uh, game audio, or is it, yeah, reusing the voice lines from the original game with no changes. Now, that doesn't mean they won't omit lines, just that he said no changes. Uh, so, you know, there's that. No bringing the voice actors back is kind of unfortunate, but hey, as long as they at least still get a paycheck, it's all good. Assassin box. Oh no, my assassin's box is gone. Box is gone. No. That is bad. Go to sleep. Oh, this is not good. I have no Heidi box. And my Sultan has a very limited battery. Oh, shit. Hmm. Maybe I should get better at CQC. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop Fulton and guys and just put them to, to the forever sleep. Because they... I can't... Uh, I, I can't... I'm not the, the sneak king. I, I'm, there is no one here with delicious Burger King burgers, so I can't be the sneak king. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Alright, let's see. 1911. Sorry, guy. Okay, did he? What the? What the hell is that? This guy made out of feathers. Very durable feathers. Okay. And sir, you need to go to sleep. Freeze. Oh, that was almost, that was a hold up. Damn it. 
That was a hold up. That could be. Oh, shoot. Cut off a soul. Does this guy have a Houdini complex or what? I mean, it could be worse, Kaz. It could be an Oedipus complex. It could be way worse. Ugh. Hungry construction workers in a sawmill. That sounds like the safest way to deliver a hamburger. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, boy. Safety first. Oh, boy. Huh? Oh, no. Soliton. Enemies close by! Nope. Is he the only one who saw me? Okay, we're good. We're good. Speaking of hamburgers, these are not hamburgers. They're ham bullets. I almost feel like that's a thing that someone has tried to do at some point. It's just like, eff it, I have bullets made entirely out of ham. I don't know. I need to rewatch that Mythbusters one where they were shooting chickens at an airplane window. <sighs> God. Oh, cut off the soliton. Oh, the battery thing. Now there's a MGS-3 flashback. It's like, on the one hand, I don't exactly miss that feature, but I will say it was, it was kind of an interesting addition. It's just too bad there's no glowing mushrooms to eat in here to replenish the soliton's battery this time. Uh, mushrooms! Snake! It's a snake! Oh no, we have a snake! Ooh! Oh, boy. Oh, I've got to figure this out. This is a lot of dudes. Um. Hmm. How far is their visual range? Oh, this is, this is rough. Let's get in here. Hmm. I have no box. I can't climb this window. Unless someone was good enough to leave... A box there. No? <laughs> hmm. Holy crap, this thing has like mountains of kick. You done? Okay, he's out. Now, let's see if he can call for reinforcements while he's bleeding out. Oh, boy. Oh, that's dark. This thing has no suppressor. Okay. But yeah, I mentioned the glasses thing. Oh, shit! The enemy's here! Uh, um, suppressor is no longer an option. Or, or even a priority. Whoops! I was hoping... Oh. No, you get off that ladder, sir. Okay, what's my health at? Rations. Um, well, it took me half the mission to really royally screw the pooch, so hey, here we go. Ah! Who's the wise guy? Oh, Ladder. Herp. Get off that mountain gun, you you gas butt. Oh boy, shotgun. That's that's different. It's been a minute since I've encountered one of those. Eh, quick. Herp. I only have so many of these things. Herp. Oh boy, he he just jumped. Good good for him. Evasion. Nope, you go to sleep. Oh shotgun! I will find him! I will find him! Okay. Oh, you're gonna close in on me with that shotgun after all that. Okay. All this for one guy who just cannot stop escaping. Okay, come on. I gotta remember the shoulder thing. Okay. Whoa, hello! Hello! Sirs? Sirs, I'm gonna need- Oh, goodness! 
Don't approach him. Gotcha. No, no, don't hang in there. That is the opposite of what I want. Uh. Sure. Hmm. Interesting. Holy crap, how many of these dudes are there? Okay, he's out. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you want to close in on that guy, you're going to have to fight through a hail of bullets. Please tell me you dropped that. Mm -hmm. He dropped the right grenade for the situation. Now, who's next? Uh, no, 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 no. Right back. Bayonetta 2. Hell yes. Oh, boy. That could have gone better. Uh, hmm. Oh, I meant to pat him down see if I can get some more rations. Bleh. Oh, well. Well, Solaton searching. Kaz mentioned something about a Houdini complex. That tells me this guy could very well be in this room, in this area. Wouldn't that be great? Just going ahead and knock this out. Oh. But now nah, he's probably in the next one because he's Zadornov and makes and w wants to make me have to really search for him. All right, that thing's still going. Search, wait, searched over there, but I didn't search. Oh, that's because that's a dead end. Ah, boy. Glasses, though. Kind of sucks. Here's the thing. I, I, uh, wanted to go to a nearby America's Best to get my glasses on account of I'm cheap and <laughs> wanted to try and get my glasses in bulk. I don't think I can get back out of here from, from here, can I? Wait. Bet I, I bet I can. I'm just being a dummy. And so, ooh. Hello? No, that's, that doesn't work. So, a nearby America's Best. I decide I'm going to get my glasses from there. I got the appointment all scheduled and everything. Well, turns out, I go to town. I go do something I never do. The last movie I watched in theaters was Avengers Endgame. I decide, hey, I'm going to go watch a movie. And I pick, of all things, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, hello. Horse. I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. Zadornov should be somewhere in that area. Find him. Find him to death. I don't remember what the, the thing is to find him for. Huh? Okay. Yeah, the new Mario movie. And here's the thing. Oh, okay, what the... Let's go with that one. <sighs> Not this one. Oh, just pick one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I went to see the new Mario movie, and the, the call from America's Best kind of... Metal Gear. Ha, cute. Kind of ruined a bit of the movie for me. You know? It just soured me on the experience. And, oh, you shit. Mr. Kojima. Oh, you shit, Kojima. That's that's kind of kind of great. Oh, hello. Damn it! Not curses. You found me. Ah, uh, boy. Was not expecting Hideo Kojima to be in one of these trucks. That cheeky little wave. I will say though, you know, the the canceled appointment due to an emergency. I hope everything's all right for them. I really do. But. Uh, it did kind of suck uh, to have that happen right in the middle of the Mario movie. My phone was silenced, I will say that. But, oh, Norman Reedus. Maybe if I were searching for motorcycles. I wouldn't, I, I don't know, all these vehicles I'd still like to ride with him anyway. That's all good. Damn it, Norman! I found him, Kaz. Close, but no cigar. Not for you, anyway. Snake, we're coming to pick him up. Oh, break his ankles. And his hip, too, while you're at it. Uh, come on. Blur. What was I saying, though? But yeah, Mario movie. Good stuff. Oh, what? Oh, he actually joins? Well, damn. Triple damn. He joins and you get a trophy. 
Okay, Mark 22. Better Mark 22. Neat! <laughs> okay! Alligator, rhinoceros, bluegill, lungfish, panther. All these guys look like straight out of Fist of the North Star. And then earthworm. Uh, woodcock. Water flea. Abe Lincoln. Lobster. Oh, I hope we have a rock lobster in here. That'd be great. Chicken grunt. Oh, shoot. I should have checked his stats. Third time. This is the fifth time Zadornov ex escapes. And there's actually a sixth and final time. Here's the thing. These missions, other earthworm, were kind of pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, stork. And so, oh, snakehead. Okay. He looks like the kind of puckish rogue who's going to escape from the mother base during a time that some unknown third party's attack, I don't know, XOF, and he's going to go out and have his own plucky JRPG adventures with knockoff paws and a slightly smaller Metal Gear and maybe an elf from another dimension. And at least one of them is going to have gigantic boobs. My, my vote is the robot. <laughs> ah... Let's see. Rat. <laughs> Skink. Okay. Zadornov. Reason the shit out of Zadornov. Please, guys. Please. Zadornov's mentions. What's been the most annoying part about him? The fact that they keep happening. <laughs> the, the sneaking part isn't really all that bad. That's what you kind of sign up for Metal Gear for. It's tactical espionage action. It's the stealth game. Among stealth games, I think of this before I think of Hitman, or Stealth Bastard slash Stealth Incorporated, or Sneak King. But this guy has been imprisoned, like, he's gotten out five times now. You would think by now they would have a, a shipping crate. They would stick him in that, like, up to his neck, just cut a hole out for his head, and just fill the rest of the shipping crate with cement and keep his ass in it. It's like, come on. It's like, what's he doing? Pulling out some, like, pixie fairy dust and fairy fart teleporting his way out of the cell now? It's like, ha ha, I'm free. You'll never stop Steve Bloom. Uh, I mean Zadornov. Oh, boy. Just, damn it. Damn it, Z. So anyway, I looked up guides for all these, and apparently you have to beat side missions a certain number of times to unlock the next one, and I believe it's only two more for the final one. I'm just I'm just gonna zip I hate to turn my nose up at all these other side missions. I'm just gonna zip through a couple of quick Fultons just to unlock the last one, because Zadornov Here's a rundown, Cheeky as he may be, is kind of out overstaying his welcome. Oh shoot. Oh, what, what am I doing? That's the only thing that's really annoy and annoying, is that it seems like too many Zadornov missions here. And I get what they were doing. It's a little bit of a filler for your post-game content and, you know, stretching out the life on your PSP game a little bit. I can appreciate that on PSP. All the I almost feel like, them, uh... And then use the Fulton recovery system. I almost feel like it's still a bit much, though. Especially when you, you have to... You're forced to play as side missions. Hmm. How to put it. I can't be the only one who hates having main game content gated off by side missions. That was also a sin of Saints Row 4. I remember that distinctly, thinking to myself, what the hell, Saints Row guys? It's like, I've unlocked this part of the game, now I have to play, like, 20 mini-games in order to progress. Yeah. And some of the mini-games in there were fun. Some of them were not. Helicopter is complete. I'd say this game has honestly been more reliably fun than Saints Row 4. Recovery helicopter is complete. Yeah. Oh, shoot, a little off. Now let's see if I can complete that one more time and get the last of the doorknob mission. Great job. 
I know there's other games that have gated off uh, main content for side content, and I can't think of any. Uh, that feels like something some JRPGs have probably done. Feel like it. Oh man! Big example. Final Fantasy IX, after a fashion. If you've ever played FF9, there is on like disc two or three, I think. Um, I want to say disc two. A tournament for the uh, card game in there. Oh god, I can't remember what the name of it was. It wasn't Gwent, I know that. Uh, but yeah, card game. They had a tournament that was like a major story event and. Well, I don't think you'd actually stop progressing if you didn't beat the card game. I don't think there was a game over there, but it... Okay, never mind. Screw that example. It doesn't qualify. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. Bongo. Holy crap. This guy, head just goes straight into shoulders. You can't beat me. Look at my muscles. Oh man, headband and everything. Oh shit, is this the is this one of the Contra Bros? Oh man. The Alien Wars have come to Metal Gear Solid. I didn't even check Kojima's stats. Where's he at? Holy crap! Wait, what are those two? Is that medicine and intelligence? Medical and intelligence, okay. You know what? I've gotten to the point where I have so many people. It's time to discharge a few. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's let's just put uh, Kojima on the medical team for the time being. Oh boy, that was not good. I don't even want to highlight discharge with him. Computer can run Bayonetta 2 at 4K and a good frame rate. Nice. Nice, nice. After hearing its performance on Switch at launch was a little bit less than stellar, throwing that onto PC and giving it all that extra oomph, it's really sounding like PC is the way that game is meant to be played. Uh, to coin a phrase, <coughs> Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, games gating off uh, content behind uh, side content. It's not like the biggest issue. It's not the biggest negative, but it is a little bit frustrating. And thankfully, this game hasn't done much of that up until like right at the end. If you want like the, the true ending. Okay, start mission. Xenoblade Chronicles X at 4K. And 4K. Ooh, up to 60 frames. On Wii U. Okay, you did say Simu. I'm thinking I'm thinking Yuzu this whole time. I'm thinking Uh, worst one track mind here. Be careful not to kill anybody. Okay. I'm thinking wrong platform, Bayonetta 2 and Xenoblade Chronicles X. Alright. Now my head is back in the right place. Can't say anything about Bayonetta 2's performance, because I do not know how it was at launch. Never heard anything really negative about it. Oh, Soliton. Okay, and... Fulton. Oh, I forgot Bayo 2 was ported to Switch. I seem to remember it being ported to Switch in, like, the same package as Vanquish. So if I'm not mistaken, that puts Vanquish on Switch as well. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. So I'm gonna have to look that up. I want to say I've got that on Fulton recovery at least one platform. Complete. Whether it was a free 360 Fulton title or what, I don't recall. On board helicopter. Whoop. Bayo 1 in Vanquish. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I watched that Mario movie, though, when I was out of town, and I have to say, I'm 
actually kind of glad it... It was a coin toss for me between watching that or Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I mean, Chris Pratt either way. But I came to Mario um, solely because I thought to myself, I did watch the first one in theaters. Now I can say I've watched almost every Mario movie in theaters when it was out. There was that one. What was that one? Uh, it's like a, I think it's a Japanese production. I think it was an anime kind of thing. Gonna grab some food. Okay. Guardians 3. I honestly... Done it again. Great. I honestly really would have rather seen Snake. Guardians 3. Done it again. Kaz. Give me a break. Snake, listen. Sadornov's done it again. Come on. I hate to entertain the thought, but this might be an inside job. <sighs> what the hell's he after, anyway? No clue. Can't imagine he's just out to annoy us, though. You know, it might not be worth keeping him here if he's not going to join us. You may be right. I thought it might boost our Russian compatriots' morale, but okay. I'll think it over. Let's hope he's just playing hide-and-seek. I've added a new mission. Go get Zadornov. Okay, they've decided- they've come to the conclusion it may not be worth it to keep him. Throw the enemy to the sea! Leave us! Yeah, I would have rather watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but since I did watch the old 90s Mario movie in theaters, I figured, hey, I might as well do the same for this. Especially since it didn't have any other theater showing times that I saw, but solid movie all around. A bit... F it, it's straight formula. It's very formulaic, but it, it's a kid's movie. I expected that. I mean, what's his name? Seth Rogen was just Seth Rogen. It, it's fine. It wasn't terrible. It was like eye rolls, whatever. It's like no no pitch modulation, no no changing his voice or anything, no no trying to do anything. I mean, even even for Jack Black for Bowser, they did a little bit of that. Hmm. But I've heard worse. Uh yeah, Zadornov, it's his final breakout attempt. Bush to a 911. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see Zadornov. Zadornov's escaped. You have to find him. Can I just shove a pipe bomb up his pooper? Yeah. I will say this though for uh, the Mario movie. That Luma in the prison, there's a there's a prison sequence, I won't go into spoilers. Luma was my favorite character in the movie, just bar none. Is Find Zadornov and bring him back here with Fulton recovery. Uh oh. Get over here! Do it. Do it, turkey. I don't want to destroy my assassin box, but I have a feeling at some point I'm going to screw up and destroy my assassin box. Again. Drag him inside the box! Boop. Uh... Oh, shoot. Mark 22. Go to sleep, sir. I should probably turn on the Soliton to try and find some more people. Turn it off a little bit, though, first. Alright. Yeah, I'll say this. Chris Pratt, he wasn't, uh... He wasn't terrible. They alluded, though, to the, the expected accent, though, in uh, one point of the movie. But, uh... Yeah, he, it was just Chris Pratt doing a Chris Pratt voice, and it, it was fine. I, I honestly feel like Seth Rogen was the bigger, uh, the bigger letdown. Oh, man. I forgot about Keegan-Michael Key, I'm not gonna lie. Jack Black was great. Bowser was great. Predictably, the movie had a mid-credits and post-credits scene. Okay, come on. He did not go alert, did he? Boop. 
Trank to the Taint. Teasing something for Yoshi. They're almost certainly going to do a Yoshi's Island sequel. That That's like the most logical step they could possibly do. Uh, they release it in theaters at this point. Now I'm probably going to watch it. Oh, uh, damn it. It's like I'm part of the problem now. Okay. Third highest grossing animated movie of all time behind Frozen 2 and that new Lion King. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> oh, the box. Is, that's what happens. The box gets frayed. Okay. They knew people would pull this stunt. Yoshi's Woolly World, the movie. Oh, I wish. Oh. Let's see. All right, the Solitons are running out. Okay. Hmm. Assassin's box is getting. Oh no! Did I destroy the Assassin's box? I did not destroy the Assassin's box. It's fine. What's the map looking like? Huh? Wait, this isn't the only area, is it? Which. Would be fine. If it's the only area, then... Why do I have the M60 out? Ugh, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Go to sleep forever. Not waiting around for you guys to wake up and rob me of progress. Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh, boy. When Wario. Oh, there's one more dude. Uh-oh. Uh? -oh. uh I heard gunfire. You did, did you? We're under attack. Go into alert status. <gasps> What's wrong? Free. What's going on over there? Ah. Mistakes were made. It's fine. Mistakes were made. Assassin's box is, box is still working. Wario and Waluigi. Yeah, that, that does make sense. Okay, that, that makes oodles of sense. Is this a area transition? Not part of the that mission. Area gotcha. is not part of the mission. I think this might be the only area. Okay. And if that's the case... I've got some vertical searching to do. Welcome, Altison. I'm just just now establishing my mission borders. Because I think this is the only room. And is this is a dense one. If Zadornov is here, this is a dense, dense place to, to be. Yeah, I'm That's outside the scope of this mission. Okay. Fourth one, Metal Mario. Ah. Oh man, I was watching a video on how they how they did some of the effects on Nintendo 64, and the Metal Mario thing came up. I forget what they said though. Hmm, that was interesting stuff. Uh, something about games pushing the limits of the 64, and they had one of my favorites on there: Beetle Adventure Racing. One of the EA games I got before I found out exactly what EA were. But, regardless, really solid racing game. Six stages densely packed with nonsense gimmicks and rubber hippie daisy boxes and craziness. Goldeneye. Uh, was Goldeneye in there? I, I think it actually was. Resident Evil 2 was. I didn't watch the whole video. Resident Evil 2 was in there partly because, let's face it, it was a compression. It was a heaven of compression. It, they they managed to do miracles to get that that game on there. Uh, let's see. Beetle had some impressive uh, seeming real time reflections. Okay. 
The doorknob? Where are you? You ass butt. <sighs> Five and a half gigs of space to store every Nintendo 64 game? Oh man, that's the weirdest thing to think about. <sighs> oh, with long titles like Quest 64 on there and all this levels in Mario 64, but they, uh, they squeeze down just fine. Okay, where's that Soliton? I can kind of... Oh, what the... Hello. Don't tell me. I just missed him entirely walking around here. I want to strike marker him so bad. Try using Fulton recovery on him. Roll into the box. That would have made sense. I am dense. Okay, let's see where we're at. Fulton. You know what? Since he was so kind... Thank you, Zadornov. It's the thought that counts. Get out of here, you schmuck. Ugh. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Yeah, let's go with that, Kaz. That is the last Zadornov mission. Thank God. There is only one more mission in this game, to my knowledge. One more mainline mission. And because of looking up the Zadornov missions... I had to look it up. It had to show up in the same result. The final battle with Metal Gear Zeke. So, I don't remember how to unlock that one. <laughs> Damn it! One more Zadornov. I'm on... That was six. Are you sure there's a seventh? Kaz, I've located Zadornov. Nice work. Damn. How could I be so stupid? How could he be so stupid indeed? With that with that cheeky smirk of his. Oh no. If we have one more Zadornov mission, then I just Ugh. I I can't help but feel this was a Kojima thing. He came across the name, he heard, oh, that sounds like the doorknob, which is a thing on a door, which you open if you want to leave places. I'll have a shit ton of escape missions. <laughs> Because, as we all know, Kojima names his characters like Capcom names Mega Man bosses. Stork. Fortis. Woodcock. Other Stork. Hummingbird. Lobster. Lion. Triggerfish. Piranha. Freddy Mercury. Prairie Dog. Eland. Speaking of cheeky grins. Ops 29. Probably. Finch, uh, Oriole, not Hitler at all, Panda, Sea Hare, let's see, Ops 29, Mother Base is expanded, two soldiers persuaded into recruitment, we recruited the shit out of them, well, I want to see about that, Ops 29, because I have no idea how to unlock that last bit, let's see, main, extra Ops, Oh, it's going to be quicker this way. Ah, where'd you go? I have Ops 29. Item capture, it seems. Use C4 charges to destroy the container and retrieve all items. Five minutes. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. 
head out to the beach. Okay, let's get that C4 on me real quick. Uh, let's, let's lose the 1911. Head to the beach and look for something peculiar. Oh, it's it's not going to be there. It's... My brain does not want to parse weapons for some reason. Where's my C4? C4! Placeable. I can keep the 1911. Yay! Oh, boy. Mario movie. It seems like there was something else about the Mario movie that wasn't spoilers that I can't quite do. Oh, damn it. How did I forget? Other highlight of the Mario movie. movie. The trailers beforehand. Oh, boy. Just, there's some Hillary Swank thing, uh, thing they advertised I just checked completely out on. And then you had the ads for products. You had the Spider-Man movie. That's like, that's okay. That's fine. Then you had Barbie. I'm like, oh, what? What are we, what have we become as a society? And you had a troll doll movie. That one eluded my notice. So that was a special kind of what the hell am I watching? Ah. Just roll them into Toy Story so we have fewer movies. Please, please do that. Especially that Barbie one. I would almost hey, rather watch the troll one. You recover those supplies and don't get lost. Don't get lost. Come on. Okay, wait. Beach. Where is the beach? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. I think this is the right way. Only five minutes to do the thing, sadly. We'll see. Whatever happens, this is probably going to be the last... Uh... Last mission of the stream. I will say that. But I want to see... It better not be more R and R with pause. Oh, Soliton. Okay, there's a drum. There's an oil drum that's moving in the water. Can I get to it? I cannot. Mechanite's nightmare. Oh, I've heard of that one. Let's see what have we got. I've heard of that one. And I'm curious. Hello, other drum. Oh, that didn't. A disappointment? Oh, so I'm assuming that means I don't have the thing that I'm supposed to have. Oh, on the beach here. Enjoyable and control solidly. Ah, small dev teams, for some reason, they put out some, some surprisingly good work lately. Need to listen to the tapes. Okay. So that's... There's a whole guide to getting the last Zadornov bit out. I, I haven't... I didn't commit it to memory, as it were. And I need to do just that. I will have that next Zadornov slash final battle thing unlocked by next stream. I this this Zadornov has officially overstayed his welcome. Uh-oh. Solaton? Mecha Knight's Nightmare. I need to look that one back up. Cause I distinctly remember hearing that name, and it's a sh a shame I don't remember it. Oh boy, here we go. What was that? What that was was an inducement to you joining me at the box. I'm seeing things. Yeah, you're seeing a box. Do 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 do. What's that? Get in my box. Join me at the box. You know you want to. Drag him inside the box. Alright. You. Alright, there's another guy. Enemies close by. Uh oh, shit. 
Suplex City, sucker! Well, it's more like a DDT, but whatever. Alright. Ah, classic. The Soliton doesn't work when... Enemy goodness. Okay, pull out the briefing. One moment. Listen to Chico. Okay, briefing. Is that here? Go Kodak real quick. I know it is not easy, but I have faith in you. Let's see. Mission details. Nah. Damn it. Okay. Huh. All right. I believe they said C4 this thing. Ooh, that's a lot of things. Okay. You're done with that area. Head for the goal. Okay, I have a minute and 11 seconds to get to wherever the goal is. Pull up that map. Huh? The goal is in this area? What? How do we... Where the hell is the goal? Oh no. I have a minute. One minute to find that goal. Oh, if I time out of this mission, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Oh, there it is. It's never far away, and I, I should remember that. You did it. Keep it up. Now, I talk smack about uh, the ads and stuff at the beginning of that Mario movie, but, you, you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking this year's kind of a damn good year for media. And, uh, I mean, Mario movies grossing huge, Guardians of the Galaxy grossing huge, we got, like, John Wick. We got lots of great movies in theaters, just, just this year alone. The past couple of years, there, there's been a few good ones, but this year it seems like they're stacking up. And then in the gaming space, we've got several good uh, remakes and original titles. Uh, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart's getting a PC port this year. Um, oh, man. Metal Gear Solid Delta was announced. I don't know if it's coming out this year. I don't know. I'm not, not holding my breath on that one coming out this year. But hey, tons of, of stuff on the horizon. And I'm thinking to myself, I mean, I need to look over some more of this stuff that's coming out. But is this, is this year one of those kind of years like 96, 98, 2005 or 6? Because it's, it's starting to get there, it feels like. They'll never hear me coming. Uh... They'll never hear me coming, and I knew you had it in you. Should not be the two lines you unlock right side by side. Ew. <laughs> Thanks, game. Yeah, this year, though, is getting to be a really good year for media, and I can't help but feel... like I mean, I don't, not, I don't know that it's closing in on one of those prior lauded years for gaming, but those are, those are the years that I think of first, and they also had some you know, good TV and such coming out in those times. I'm sure some good movies, too, but... My movie chops are a little bit rusty. But, yeah, we're getting good stuff all around this year. And it's starting to look really good. I'm liking this year. Let's see, MGS Remake. 50 gigs of VRAM. Ah, oh, boy. It, uh, happened again, Snake. Oh, it's the doorknob. What's he got, an escape fetish? Yes, he Snake! He friends on the inside, but we've got no way of knowing who. Yeah. Persistent bastard, I'll give him that. Where is he this time? That's the thing. He must have found and gotten rid of the transmitter. We've got no idea where he is. Snake, think you can find him? We can't just let him run around. It makes us look bad. Break okay. his ankles. If we can't locate him, I'm afraid I can't add a new mission. You know what to do, Snake. You can't run when you ain't got no feet. <sighs> Anti-tank mines. Here we go. Surround his cell with those. It's fine. <sighs> Panther, Steenbach, Waterflea, Abe Lincoln, Hummingbird, Freddie Mercury, Borzoi. 
Eagle Ray. Ain't got a head. Charles Bronson. No Hitler. No time for scalpels anymore. Yeah. It's like if Stinger were here, I think we know what his answer would be. Ugh. Come on. It's a doorknob. Okay, briefing, briefing, briefing. Uh... Because you mentioned Chico. And I don't think I've listened to all the tapes. So let's just dip in here real quick so I can get to the... Let's get this mission started. Those things. Briefing files. Let's see what we've got in the... File library. Okay, we got the file library, and of course we have the about this mission stuff. Chico's not here on this one, so... Let's go. Huh? Let's see. Well, why not? Wait. The second one, okay. Snake. Legend has it, a place called Isla del Monstruo is near Costa Rica. Isla del Monstruo? It was discovered in the 18th century by Caribbean pirates sailing over to the Pacific. And the island in Treasure Island is based on one near Costa Rica, too. Ah, uh, Treasure Island. I remember reading that. You've read it, too? Ah, oh, that makes things easier. In Nicaragua, we too have a story about a group of pirates that encountered a flying monster out at sea. Some even say they landed on this monster island, though we still don't know exactly where it is. That's the reason I've always wanted to come to Costa Rica. Ha! <laughs> I see. Set off a nuke and see which way Godzilla comes from. A talking cat that lives somewhere in Costa Rica. What? They say it'll take you to this place. Oh, mm, interesting stuff. Want to know more about the island? Maybe later. If I'm headed that way, you can fill me in. Okay, just let me know. So I'm going to assume that means I need to head back to Ops 29. Thankfully, that seems to be a fairly easy one to zip through. I'll have to remember that. Uh, Ops 29. All right, thank you for that. I am going to go on ahead and duck out for the night, though. Monster Hunter Universe. Oh, boy. I just want to hear Snake humming that theme. That iconic theme. Oh boy, I might actually start the stream with that next time. Uh, not Monster Hunter uh, Ops 29. Oh, I need a Monster Hunter game. I missed a Capcom Humble Bundle that had one of those in there. I'm like, damn it. Oh boy. Get some tactical palico action going. So that'll be me for the night. I will be back tomorrow with I don't know what the hell I'm doing because I'm still behind on playing back through Code Veronica and I am not playing on the existing file because there is no win there. there there's no win to be had. So I'm playing back through it on a different storage device trying to get back to that point with more ammo. If I can't do it by next week, if I can't get back to that point, I'm just gonna say to hell with it, YouTube the ending, say that game has beat me, and move on to four. I am fully willing to admit defeat. I, I hate it, but it's a thing that happens. So, thanks again all for stopping by. Navigator EX here. I'll see you when I see you. And be careful when you give this guy your, your mission-critical equipment to repair. Because uh, it's going to be a sight. He's going to repair the shit out of it. <laughs> <sighs> He's got the highest stats. He's absolutely going to repair this shit. I would, woo. Take it easy, party people. Hmm?